So here's my job. Uh, I've got a floor pad here uh, for a new building that I've, I've got to construct. And the uh, finished floor height here is top of concrete is uh, 101.720 reduced level. Uh, it, it's quite a bit higher than the kerb around the edge of the job there. Uh, so there'll be some battering down to the kerb. And but there is a kerb line in here and the uh, benchmark that I'm working off on the plan is on the kerb, on the top of the kerb, and it is RL100 100.535. So that's the information on the plan I've got to work with. And then over here, we have the uh, cross section, which is showing the the finished floor there. So the green is the concrete. So the top of the concrete finished floor level 101.720. There's 200 millimeters of concrete there, and then 50 millimeters of blinding sand under that. Uh, and so I need to work to that first. So I need to work to the underside of the sand first. Um, so there's a little bit of math to do just to get from the elevation 101.720 um, down the thickness of the concrete and down the thickness of the layer of sand and then that's the level that I need to uh, to work to. So I'm in a CAT 308 uh, running Trimble Earthworks and we're going to build a pad out there, uh, the underside of the concrete slab uh, that was in the plan on the whiteboard just earlier. So we're going to work through how to use reference elevation bench. So I'm on the dashboard here, I'm in 2D in the machine setup. So to go in there, our positioning source is 2D. Accept that. And importantly, here because I'm going to be moving over to that part of site um, to build the pad and my benchmark is actually over here on the kerb. I've got my laser set up there. I need to have a laser catcher so I can transfer my elevation when I move the machine. So there's my laser catcher. So I've set up a, a, um, a job or a project, just called it new pad. And in my job setup, my mode is depth and slope. So I'll come through to the work screen, I'll just hit start here, and it's asking me to bench. So I'm just going to slew the machine around uh, to my left, and I'll pick you up again there. So as per the plan that we showed on the whiteboard, uh, my benchmark is on the top of the kerb here, and it's got an elevation of 100.535. So when I'm working from elevations on the plan, rather than just hitting the bench button, I want to touch and hold it. And this is where I want to make sure that reference elevation is turned on, this toggle here. It's actually turned off by default, so a lot of the time when you come in here it'll be turned off. So you turn it on, and I want to type in my bench elevation. So 100.535, it was already in there, but I'll just show you how it's done. Right. So the bucket tip, the focus left here, the left tip is on the benchmark on the top of the kerb. I've got the right elevation in there from the plan, 100.535, so now I'm going to bench. Okay, so I've benched there, so that's currently my target elevation is the elevation that I benched at. But as per the plan, we know that we actually have got another elevation that we're working down below, the finished floor level of the concrete pad. So what I need to do is come in here and set that up. Right so instead of 100.535, I want to type in the target elevation that I know, which is the top of the concrete pad. So 101.720 top of concrete. Okay, as we talked about, or we showed in the cross section on the plan, I'm not working to top of concrete with the excavator, I'm working to the underside of the sand. 
which is a negative offset of 0.25 negative below the top of the concrete. So I've benched at 100.535, I've come up to the top of concrete and then I've come down 250 millimetres. So that's where the green line is now. And the, the beauty of reference elevation bench is that it's done all the math for me. So I've just read the numbers off the plan and it's worked out that after all of that, the target elevation that I'm working to is 101.470. It saved me all that mental math. So I hit apply. Okay. And now I'm getting cut fills to 250 millimetres below the top of the concrete which is 101.470 right so I'm getting cut fills to that which is the green line in here so you can see I've got a little bit of fill to go but I'm not where the pad is I need to scratch around um, underneath the pad over there where we're going to build the pad um, on that area there so now what I need to do is catch my laser so before I move the machine, I need to catch the laser. So I'm just going to, I've got my laser set up here. So there's my spinning laser. So I can bench without catching the laser. There it is there. Let's come down, I've actually got to catch it slow enough. I can tick that, right. So I hit the button down here, it popped up briefly when the laser strike um, was able to be accepted so I've accepted that laser now so I need to accept the laser strike before I move the machine and then after I move the machine I catch the laser again and I'm, I'm back reference to the laser and then all my heights for the concrete pad that I've set up away from this benchmark those heights after I move over there and catch the laser those heights will be right for me to work over there right so I've moved over to where the new floor pad's going to be that's where I benched over there. You can see the spinning laser set up beside the curb. So this is where the new floor pad's going to be. Now I need to catch the laser again. So that's the first thing I need to do. So I've moved the machine. I caught the laser before I moved. And now that I've moved, I need to catch the laser again. So we'll just raise the boom slowly. There it is. So I'll accept the laser. Okay, and my heights are adjusted now relative to the laser, so that benched elevation and then my target elevation and then my offsets below that for the underside of the sand, those are all correct where I've, I'm sitting with the machine now. So you can see I've got quite a bit of fill to bring in here um, to get to that elevation. So I'll leave you now and I'll, I'll get on the radio to the trucks and start getting that fill in. Okay, 